What's up everyone? During the last week, I've been testing different hiking apps. I've always used Wikilock and Gaia GPS myself, but one of my subscribers suggested me that I try other hiking apps to find out if any of them is better. So in this video, I'll be doing just that. I compared the five most popular hiking apps based on the number of Google Play downloads, which are AllTrails, Wikilock, ViewRanger, Kamut, and Gaia GPS. I tested the free versions as well as the paid ones. By the way, I'm not sponsored or affiliated with any of these apps. If I recommend any of them, it's based on my own research and my own experience. I paid for all the premium versions myself. I compared them in six different categories and rated them based on how well they performed on each one. These categories were the free versions of the app, the paid versions of the apps, the number of available trails, the map quality, offline use, and battery consumption. ViewRanger won with 40 points, the second place went to Gaia GPS with 36 points, the third one to AllTrails with 33 points, the fourth one to Kamut with 32 points, and Wikilock was the last one with 27 points. Anyway, now I'll get into each app individually and they're rated from the best to worst. The best possible option based on my own personal research is using Wikilock for finding the trails and Gaia GPS for actually navigating. Now, before actually doing this research, I actually already used both of these apps. However, I actually used the premium version of Wikilock, and it turns out that you actually don't need to do that. This method works with free versions on both apps. In my opinion, Wikilock is really useful only for trail discovery, not actually navigating. If you'd actually want to navigate and follow the trail, you need to purchase the premium version for 9 euros and 99 cents per year, because the free version doesn't allow you to do that. Even if you would purchase their premium version, their app is really only usable when connected to the internet because their offline maps are really bad. They don't show that much information, at least when compared to other hiking apps, and their offline maps are really slow and really unresponsive. However, Wikilock is really great for finding the actual trails that you'll be hiking. And the best thing is that if you go to their website from your laptop, you can download the .gpx file for any trail completely free. If you'll try doing that from the app, it will ask you for the premium version. So this only works on their website from your laptop. Wikilog has a lot of trails available all over the world, but they're especially popular in Europe and South America. But you can find tons of trails there for other locations as well, such as the USA. You just need to find the trail that you like, click on download, select the .gpx file format, and select the option to simplify to 500 points. Now let's talk about Gaia GPS. Between all of these apps, Gaia GPS definitely has the best offline maps and is the easiest one to use for navigating. You can also try using the Gaia GPS trail discovery tool from their app, but they don't really have that many trails there. Basically, only a small fraction when compared to Wikilock. Now, theoretically, they say that you need to purchase their premium version for $17 per year to use the offline maps. However, you don't actually need to do that. With the free version, you won't be able to download specific areas, but I found a trick that works for me. If you zoom into any location when connected to the internet, somehow the app downloads that area and you'll be able to use it offline. So what I usually do is I upload the .gpx file from Wikilog and before doing the actual trail, I zoom into the trail when connected to the internet and later it will be available to use offline. Gaia GPS is also great for another thing, which is printing backup maps on paper. That said, it's only available with their paid version. You can only do that from their website, not the app. I'd recommend doing that if you'll be hiking in a very remote area with no cell service. If your phone dies, you'll always have a backup. Just for hiking purposes, their free Gaia Topo maps are more than enough. In fact, they're the best ones out there between all the apps that I tested. But if you do want something more detailed, they also offer another paid version for 
$36 per year, which comes with a lot of very detailed maps. If you don't want to use Wikilock in combination with Gaia GPS, another great and completely free app is ViewRanger. I hadn't tried this app before and actually I was really surprised at how good it is and that everything is available for free. In my opinion, it isn't as good as using Wikilock in combination with Gaia GPS, but it's definitely much easier. You just need to download one app and that's it. Now, first off, ViewRanger doesn't look pretty. It looks like it was made by some kind of a government agency or something and it isn't very user friendly. When you first download the app, it doesn't show the direction your phone is turned to and you have to enable the show HUD compass option in the settings to fix that. The maps on there aren't as good as on Gaia GPS, but they're definitely much better than Wikilog's offline maps. They're pretty fast, they're responsive, and they contain enough information for regular hiking. And the best part is that you can download them for offline use completely for free. On other apps, you have to actually pay to download offline maps. ViewRanger also has surprisingly many hiking trails that you can find through their trail discovery tool. Their trail discovery tool feels pretty unresponsive and weird to use, but if you're patient, you can actually find a lot of trails there. If you want to, you can also import .gpx files on ViewRanger. For instance, if you found a good trail on Wikilock and want to navigate it on ViewRanger. They also offer a premium version for €4.99 Euros and 99 cents per year which is pretty cheap, but in my opinion, it isn't really necessary. It lets you to download offline maps on larger areas, explore the trail in 3D, identify peaks with your camera and send live tracking to your friends. And lastly, I wanted to talk about the battery usage. I tested all of the apps for 30 minutes with the screen on in offline mode with just the navigation menu opened. And all of the other apps drained between 9.4 to 10.9% of my total battery. But ViewRanger really stood out because it drained only 6.6%. So for conserving the battery life, ViewRanger is definitely the best app. Yeah, it may look outdated and feel a bit weird, but it offers everything for free. It works really fast, it drains less battery, and it has some pretty good offline maps. All in all, I was really surprised by how good ViewRanger actually is. The next app on this list is All Trails, which I think is the most popular hiking app between all five. I wouldn't really recommend the free version of All Trails because it's very limited. But if you can afford to pay 29.99 euros per year, it is the best all-in-one app that does everything. It scored less points than ViewRanger and Gaia only because it's so expensive. All Trails has a very large quantity of trails to choose from, similar to Wikilock. From what I gathered, it looks like they offered the most amount of trails in the USA and Canada between all the apps, but they do have a pretty large amount of trails in Europe and other parts of the world as well. Not as much as Wikilock, but still plenty enough. The only problem with all trails is that they've split official trails from community-made trails. Their official trails are good, but they don't have that many to choose from, and you really can't find off the beaten path trails there. The problem is that you can't see any community trails from their app. They're only available from their website. So if you want to see any community made trails, you have to use your laptop and save them to your trails to see them on your phone, which is pretty unnecessary in my opinion. They could just show them in the app as well. With the free version of all trails, you can follow only trails when connected to the internet. To download the offline maps, you have to purchase their paid version. Their offline maps are pretty good. They're better than ViewRanger, but still not as good as Gaia GPS. Their navigation is also pretty responsive and easy to use. Another cool thing that comes with the paid version is that you can download and print paper maps for your route. It's available only from the web version, but I really like the overall print layout and you can select different background maps as well. So if you don't mind paying 29.99 euros per year or 60 euros per three years, I think that All Trails is the best all-in-one app. And the last app on this list is Kamut. Kamut, 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 let's just say Kamut. Now, even though it is the last one, it doesn't mean that it is bad. In fact, it's the best app if you like to create your own trails instead of following what someone else 
did before. They offer two paid versions of the app. The first one is just offline maps, which is a one-time payment of 29.99 euros for offline maps for the whole world. And the second option is a membership of 59.99 euros per year. You definitely don't need the very expensive premium membership, which basically just offers a few extra features for multi-day trip planning, insurance, discounts at some stores, and I think nothing else. Just unlocking the offline maps for 29.99 euros is enough. With Komoot, you won't actually find any pre-made trails. Instead, you open the map and it's filled with landmarks, peaks, and other points of interest. You can open up each point of interest and it will have a brief description about it and the most popular ones will also have some pictures on them. You basically select your start point, all the landmarks that you want to see and Kamut will automatically calculate the best route to get there. It shows the total distance, the altitude, the time and everything else. You can actually do this on the free version as well but you won't be able to follow the trail with your phone or use offline maps so I wouldn't really recommend the free version. With the paid version, you'll be able to download offline maps, you'll be able to print backup paper maps, even with directions for each section, and you can also save the trail as a .gpx file if you want to import it to other GPS devices or navigate on another hiking app. The offline maps on Komoot are pretty good. They're better than ViewRanger, they're very similar to all trails, but again, they're not as good as Gaia GPS. All in all, I really like the concept of Komoot because as I start to hike more and more, I prefer to just follow the map and explore on my own instead of following a trail that someone else did. I think it offers a more interesting experience and it's probably a better approach if you'll be hiking in a location that isn't as popular and it doesn't have as many pre-made trails. Personally, I'll still continue using Wikiloc for finding the trails and Gaia GPS for actually navigating as I think this is the best combination. I'll just cancel my Wikiloc premium subscription because you don't really need it to download the trails. That said, I do really enjoy the concept of Komoot, so I will definitely try using it on some of my future hikes. I hope this video was useful to you, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.